Hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to calculate the input resistance of this transistor now let's go ahead and draw the equivalent model of this one the equivalent model of this transistor will look like this we will have a voltage source right here okay first let me draw the circuit first and then we can put the resistance and everything okay um okay now let's go ahead and continue here we are going to have a voltage source that's going to be v5 and ground right here and then here we will have a resistance resistance r1 and the current flow through this is i5 and here we have R2 resistance. R R2 resistance. And here we have another resistance that is R5. R5 and the uh, voltage source voltage across here it, it will be v5 and here we will have a current source that is gm v5 okay now what you are going to do is we are going to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law first of all we have to know that r in here r in is equal to v5 over i5 okay v5 over i5 now if I apply Kirchhoff's current Kirchhoff voltage law KVL across here we will have negative V5 plus I5 R1 plus I5 we have R1 and uh, R5 are par uh, actually R2 and R5 are parallel to each other so that's going to be the next one that is I5 times R2 and R5 parallel that's equal to 0 here if we simplify I5 if we take I5 common this is going to be R1 plus R2 parallel R5 and then I move this V5 to the other side so this is going to be positive V5 right here and V5 over I5 is what we are interested in because that's equal to R in V5 over I5 will be equivalent to R1 plus R2 parallel R5 therefore R in is equal to R1 plus R2 parallel R5 okay and that's it and this is our input resistance and that's how we do that I hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn electronics there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watched it too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time